Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our first of uh, three live broadcasts. It's uh, two days before Christmas Eve, and there is still time for all of you to talk to people, people that you know in advance are looking for an opportunity, people that you know in advance need to be making money from home. And so if you're not on LinkedIn, you have missed the boat. And if you are on LinkedIn and you're not talking to 10 people a day, 15 people a day, 20 people a day, then you're not serious about being successful in your business. It's that simple. It's that simple. I use the image, the visual image of a bowl of candy filled with multicolored M&Ms and nuts. And we have been preaching, demonstrating, teaching for years that all you have to do is reach into that bowl of candy anytime you want, pick out a green M&M, ask them a couple of questions, and bring them into your business. So, once again, we're going to jump into accounts. We're going to demonstrate exactly how this process works. It's four steps. Create a page. Put yourself out there on any social network. LinkedIn should be number one. Facebook, number two. That's right, LinkedIn has passed Facebook. And there are simple things that you could do, simple things that anybody that you bring into your business from Facebook or LinkedIn can immediately do and start getting results. So we're going to jump over onto LinkedIn and uh, demonstrate some of the processes. By the way, we have opened up registration for our January boot camp. Now, when you register for the January boot camp, you're going to get access to our December boot camp, which is going to give you the previous boot camp, the December boot camp, where in session four, we jumped into our project launch script. Okay. All right. Now, let me pop over here. And first, I got an interesting message here from James. And the message from James is, that he's doing a presentation with Stuart at 10 o'clock. Hey, Max. James, remind me, which one is Stuart? He is the uh, guy that was with Century 21. He is the general manager of the stores. He was a vice president with Macy's. Uh, he's got... Uh, uh, we, uh, I sent him the product launch script. He was the guy who had some experience with network marketing and said, do you know what this looks like? Ah, ah, okay. Okay. So you actually started talking to him back in, oh, this goes all the way back to October. And so what I p wanted to point out to all of you is you need to go back September, August, and look at people that you were talking to 
who could be prospects. And so we've got here, this was, this was Thanksgiving, <clears throat> all right? So this, okay, so let's see, this is where you did it. You, t you started to talk about network marketing, and this is the guy that came back and said, do you know what this looks like? <laughs> let's see here. So this is where he did it, right here. So now you're explaining. Now he says, please expand on what you're thinking. And uh, this is also the guy that liked you because you're so positive, right? Yes. Okay. So you, we, we give him the, the, the script that, that introduces you. Would you like to know more? He says, do you do realize what this sounds like? All right. And so we came back. I wouldn't be talking about this if I wasn't confident you'd be very successful. What does this sound like to you? He didn't, it won't cost you anything but a few minutes of your time to learn the details. Okay, so now notice how all, all you did was send him some posts. You didn't have to say anything. Okay. And then I have, if I give you any information, when would you have 30 minutes? Okay, so what we did was we asked him when he would have time, not, well, I'm available on Tuesday or Thursday, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and so now you got it set up. Okay, now just a um, when you get on the, when you get them you're going to do a Zoom thing. You're going to get them on the phone. I'm going to get them on the phone and take them through the uh, uh, the process, the one, two, three, go green, uh, Mello Luca process. Okay, now suggestion before you do that, and you get them on the telephone. Uh, let's bring up his profile. Okay. So when you're talking to him, first and foremost, you've taken the relationship now to a whole new level. You're, you're on the phone. Um, and what I would do is first I would say, hey, listen, you know, Stuart, it's really <clears throat> delightful to meet you. You know, this LinkedIn um, social media has changed the way everybody does business, the way everybody does business. Now, you come down here, so he's been in retail sales for a long time. And uh, going all the way back to a long time, 1997, that's uh, 23 years. Now, some statistics, some statistics you want to keep in the back of your mind. Now, also, he, his store just closed. So as you're talking to him, you know, one of the first questions I might ask him is, yeah, uh, Stuart, how many people worked in your store? All right? How many people worked in your store? Because they're, they're kind of in the same boat you're in. Did you know... You know, so let's come up here and let's look at retail <coughs> store managers. So there are 2.7 million <coughs> retail store managers. And a, a percentage of them have lost their jobs. A percentage of them, you know, are looking. And, uh, all right, so now you want to show him the, you, know, you want to show him the business. And um, again, it, it, you, you want to have a dialogue going on here. It's, this isn't about you just pre presenting him with information. It's kind, yeah. of, it's kind of like, um, you know, talk a little bit about, um, how, 
has it been going since uh, his store closed? Has he heard from any of his employees at the stores? How, you know, how, this is a very tough time. And so you want to preface what you're going to show him. You know, in other words, just kind of recap it. You know, um, unfortunately, there's a very negative perception out there about network marketing. And a lot of it is due to the fact that the old business model of building the business did not involve the Internet. You literally had to go to somebody's house. So what I'm going to show you is, frankly, relatively new. The company's been in business for 34, 35 years. But it's only been in the last two years that they made the switch and they've adopted social media. So now you don't have to go to anybody's house. But what makes people successful in this business is not the ability to sell. What, what makes people successful in this business is the ability and the passion for establishing relationships and helping people, helping people <clears throat> turn their lives around, helping people uh, develop income from home over the internet. So what I'm going to show you is the system that they put together to show people our products and the basics of how the business works. And then once you understand this, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to teach this business to all kinds of people. Okay? You can, I'm going to show you how to teach it. I'm going to show you how to do all of the things that you love to do, being a manager, okay? And you should write down what some of those things were, things that he put on that, that you like to do. And this is, what it's all, this is what it's all about. Now, there's what you're going to see is the, what you're going to see is the basic process. Now, what I want to help you do is I want to help you develop five people and help five people become senior directors in our company. And in doing that, you become an executive director. That's how it works. And you've got, and we no longer have to go out, we don't have to chase our friends because there are too many professionals out there, people that we, that we know in stores, people that want to know <clears throat> stores. And uh, that's how it works. And then, um, Show, 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 them the, show them the business, sh show it to them, and then um, so after he sees it, what's, what's the next step after he sees it? So watch the video. What well, do you we're going to go through the video, and uh, he'll you know, have the opportunity to choose what level of interest he has, and uh, one, two, or three, if he's... Uh, if, I, if he's going to be a three like I think he is, we're going to, I'll take him through the initial onboarding process uh, into the company. I'll get him signed up, get his first order. Um, and then uh, when I'll eat, the, then uh, never having gotten somebody that far down the road before, I guess just start to, uh, showing him uh, how, he, how I found him and train him to help find the other people. Well, yes. Y yes and no. Okay, show him as you're going through this process. I want to talk to him like he's already made the commitment to get into your business. Assume this there. And so yeah, as okay. you're talking to him, you say, look, th this is how I, I'm, I, this is, uh, you know, I'm going to talk to you. I'm, I'm showing you a system and a process, but I'm going to kind of give you a bigger picture because the average person just comes in and we show the average person how they could make five hundred or thousand dollars a week and what I'm and, and so but I want you to look at go through this because this is the way that 
we're going to this is the way you build this way this is what we have to teach the people that you decide to you know bring into the business and so when you go to the ones twos and threes uh, you can explain the different the different ones but he's a three you know and, and so you know that's going to be the focus you want people you're, you're, you're a three lots of people that we want to find people that want to be threes and um, um, and give him a chance, you know, to ask questions. And the other thing that you want to emphasize is that you're working with one of the top people in the company. Now, have you ever done Have you ever done a three way call with your upline? Yes. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I talked to him uh, just a few minutes ago okay. about uh, uh, about this call, and he, you know, he gave me some. He gave me some tips and told told me when to bring him in and all that sort of stuff. So okay. he's queued up. All right. So so you know after you've done a three way call a couple of times, you don't really need them anymore. But it's nice to know that you got them. So mm -hmm. so um, all right. So it's he's primed. He's qualified. He knows what you're doing. And and again, what he likes about you is the fact that you're upbeat and you're positive. And so remind him that, hey, listen, Stuart, experience is what you get when you don't get what you want. You know, every, we go through life, things happen, and everything that I've ever done, everything that you've ever done has got you to this point, got you to this point. And so now, uh, people like me, people like you have an opportunity to evolve into our own businesses that really revolve around helping other people become successful and um, you know which is the reason that you know I've you know followed up with you and persisted in keeping our contact because there's some people that I meet on here, out of some people, you could tell by what they write about themselves. You could tell by the way they talk and what's interesting. There are some people that could be very, very successful in this business because they have the aptitude, and you're one of those people. Which is, and so I'm thrilled that we have the opportunity to do this. Just like, you know. When uh, I have people, uh, you know, I, I typically insist on talking to somebody that's interested in my coaching program before, you know, we accept them in the program. And I tell people all the time, I can tell, I can tell there are some people that have the experience, there are some people that have the skill set but more so the experience to be very successful in this business. Then, really, after that, it's just a matter of execution, learning, learning the dance, learning the steps, and everybody goes through this process at their own pace. <laughs> everybody goes through the process at their, at their own pace. <clears throat> okay? Um, you know, we're all, we all have different skill sets. So, as... This is this this whole thing has been a new experience for you. This is a this this, this is a new um, medium. This is a new way that you communicate with people. It's a new way you express yourself, and and you've learned. You've gone through a process. It, it's taken you a little longer, you know, than other people. But the more times, and you know, the interesting thing is, since everything's written down. You have a literally a, a document of what you're doing, what you said. If you went back to August, early September, and looked at looked at some of the conversations you had. <laughs> no, let's do oh, No, 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 <laughs> no. We're not. But the point. But my point is, you can see what you did right. What you did right. You can see all the things that you did wrong. This is a learning process. Yeah. Okay. No, absolutely, absolutely. You know, so now, now you've got it, and all of the different 
scripts and the different responses that you know we worked on together you're going to be able to use over and over and over again so you know you get you find four or five more Stuart Kaminsky's or you help Stuart find four or five more people like himself and before the summer, before the Memorial Day weekend, you know, you could be a senior dire an executive director in your company. That's where you want to have a goal. You want everybody, okay? You want everybody to, that you bring into the business be, be successful. So it's a, it's a dance. When um, Marissa enrolled, 13 people in her business. Her background, prior to getting into network marketing, she was an eBay seller. Now, selling on eBay is tough because eBay is always changing the deal. They're changing the deal. Most people do not make money selling things on eBay. She did. She did, but she learned the game. She saw what they were doing. She saw how the stack, the deck was stacked against most people that are eBay sellers. And so what did she do? She went out and talked to eBay sellers. That's how she got 13 people in 10 days. All of them were eBay sellers. Now, let's go over... And we're going to pop out of your account. Now, the scripts, the strategies, the conversation that you have with people online also work face-to-face -face, on the phone. You don't have to be good in sales. You don't have to be great in sales. You just have to be a good listener. And as we go through some of these, the sooner you can identify whether the person's a candidate for your business or not, the better. Now, um, you're being prompted, Carol, to add your phone number for security. There is a way for you to add your phone number but to keep it hidden so nobody sees it. And so sometimes for convenience, it's easier to get a, some kind of a message on your phone than it is to check your email, all right? So Carol was talking to Sean. All right, so Sean is a professional manager looking for an opportunity. And we're looking for human resource experience, training, Go all the way down to the bottom. So she graduated from high school 27 years ago. She's 44. Starts out as a cashier, then becomes an enrollment specialist for Big Brothers. And then 
jumps into sales, and she's a store manager for 12 years. So, the questions that should come to mind. You want to have a clear picture in your head. What are the questions we want to ask her? What do we want to know about her? And where do we want to take this conversation? Well, we know that retail store managers are losing their jobs as stores close. There are 500,000 independently owned restaurants in the United States, and I went and found some new statistics, 65% are predicted they're going to go out of business. You can find all kinds of people in the restaurant business. The question for her, so she stopped in September of 2019, and this was way before COVID. So why did she leave? And remember that people don't put on their profile everything that they want to talk about. They don't put on the profile what they're currently doing. Now the answer to why did she leave that company and what has she been doing over the last 14 or 15 months is going to determine whether or not you want to continue to talk to her. Okay? So, when you ask a question like, well, why did you leave, uh, why did you leave the job? So, and say, yeah, you know, really don't want to talk about it very much. But you find out, the reason she left it, she was fired because the, the, the company found out she was stealing. And she has spent the last 15 months in jail. Just got out. Okay? Um, maybe not the best prospect to work with. Granted, everybody needs a new start. So why did she leave? Now, while she was working at that store, believe me, in 12 years, somebody has told her about network marketing. What, what does she know about it? What has she been doing since she left the store and she's looking for the right opportunity? So, but what has she been doing since she left the store? So we're going to pop over here. Now what's kind of interesting is you've been talking to her since July. You ask somebody what they're going to do, they come back and ask you the same question. All right, now. I'm down, to, okay. I'm working at a great place now. Let me unmute Carol. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. So she's. Now, this was in. Yeah, she dropped through the cracks. Mm -hmm. She had responded, and I never came back. That was back in July. Ah. Oh. Her screen, I'm all back in. Mm -hmm. this, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Which, what did you just say? Oh, I said that um, the holiday script is bringing all these people back in talking to me. I've got a huge list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, so then, okay, so then yeah, since last year, she said she's telling she's got a job now. Yeah. Okay. We were just, she came up and we just started chatting back and forth last night. And I found out a few things about her and I found out a need. First, I thought, nah, there's no need here. So she's a manager. It's a retail store. 
Storm? Okay. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of it, but... So she is a a manager. Mm -hmm. At that, it's a, a women's clothing store, White House Black Market. Mm -hmm. And she's getting more pay, so I thought, ah, there's no need here. But we kept talking. So right here. Th th mm -hmm. This is what makes someone successful in network marketing, right here. Mm -hmm. So I saw right there possibly a need. She's tied down with corporate structure, you know, having to work. She wants to move on to a writing career. Got big dreams. Now, one of the things that's always helpful to ask a store manager is how many people does she manage? How big is, you know, um, there's a big difference between having a store where you've got six or eight people versus a store where you have 100 or 150. Right. So, um, So now she says here she's planning a book launch in the next 60 days. And I'm learning about the business. Um, what business is she talking about? A writer? If there's one thing to write a book. And learning about the business, a writing career. Now, writers, you know, being a store manager, she's gonna she she's got a, she gets a check every month mm -hmm. or every every week. When you're an author, when you're writing a book, and you're re relying on book sales, there's no guarantee check every week. Yeah. Reaching out, promoting promoting the book. Um, so, learning a bit about the business. So, this would be a good place to say, so, um, what, uh, so she's planning a book launch, which would take her into the end of January, okay? So, what does launching a book and making a career making a career at writing, what does that entail? You know, what's that all about? Mm -hmm. Get them to talk about it, <clears throat> okay? Um, so what's the new book about? Self-love and care and the things that can happen when you don't tend to your own needs. More of a sharing of my journey than a to-do book. Hopefully it leads that way, it tested well with the editors. Okay. So, all right. So, what, what, what. now, th this is kind of where, you know, you, you, you can 
add to the relationship by sharing, you know, posts like uh, experiences what you get when you don't get what you want. You know, putting some of these in front of her, things that she would appreciate. Now, I'm going to take exception. Uh, so, glad to hear that you balance it off some editors. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you'll do extremely well with it. I mean, it's one thing to be positive and be supportive, mm -hmm. but how do you know? You know, I think it will do, you'll do well with it. Um, so, people need, need to hear, I mean, the only thing I, you know, just this here, this right here. You didn't have, yeah. you know, this. A little over the top. Well, it, it, what, what, remember what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get her into your business. Yeah. You know, you want her, you know, you're her friend. And as much as you'd like her to come into your business, you have the attitude. And the reason that you're doing so well is your attitude is I want to get, get everybody in the business. You only want to bring people into the business that can benefit from it. You only want to bring people into the business you like that can basically be successful. So if her mind set is on writing this book and now she's going to launch the book in 60 days, well, what does that involve? What does that involve? Man, there are a lot of bad actors out there praying you're praying, you're praying, P R E Y, on, mm -hmm. on, on naive people, aspiring authors, that these editors, you know, clearly are telling her, oh, hey, it's a great book, you know, yeah, you know, this is what you have to do to launch. She may have paid $10,000, $15,000. For the pro for this book launching thing, they're putting together uh, sales pages. They're putting together funnels. They're putting this whole thing together, and um, the market and selling. So questions like, let's come back up here. Planning a book launch in the next sixty days and learning a bit about the business. Really, see as you learn about this. So, what's involved in launching? Your, you know, what's what's involved? How much is it? What what what, what do you need? You, okay, so you got the book. Uh, what's the name of the book? Um, what is it going to cost you to launch a book? As you get people talking about their plans. Mm -hmm. They start thinking about it, okay? You being an online friend that's interested in establishing relationships and helping, you help people that you like. So we're not going to be negative. We want to be inquisitive. We want to learn more about it. And then she's telling you things it, in your instance, it may raise red flags. Mm -hmm. And so you could be, hey, listen, uh, Sean, uh, sh uh, sh listen, it really sounds great, but you got really got to be careful because there are a lot of people out there that, you know, will take your money. You know, you're so eager to sell a book. You're so eager. Should we come down here a little further. Uh, sharing my journey. It's more of, about sharing my journey. What is it about her journey that is so interesting that people are going to want to know about? It? What is the lesson? It tested well with the editor. Okay. So I think you'll do extremely well. That this is the only, this is the only thing. I mean, you can see it, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So how do you like your job? So now you move it back to how do you like your job? Right. Some things about each other I like and dislike. Uh, it's a corporate. It also has 
perks like higher pay. And there are stores in every state. And then she keeps going. Mm -hmm. And she was real, really talkative last mm -hmm. night. So, you know, so how many people does she manage, for example? Mm -hmm. uh, well, so she's telling you. So this is the part. Uh, having the position of elevating training and setting people up for success. This is what makes a successful network market. Okay, so here, you, I do the same thing. Now, do you see yourself enjoying a writing career full time? Okay, so now, do you see this? This is really a good question. I, I would, I would make, remember. Um, this is a, this is a, this can be answered with yes or no. But again, because you've got the relationship, she's she's yes, mm -hmm. and then she's going into detail. Yeah, I figured she would. Sometimes I go ahead and ask these mm -hmm. questions with yes and no mm -hmm. if they're talking. Mm -hmm. She definitely came back. Okay, now, so now this is going to be a good time to come back and uh, get into, because she's, this is what she wants to do. Do the same thing, and it's rewarding. Do you see yourself enjoying a full-time writing career? All right, now, um, sometimes it really helps people you asked her up, you know, to, let, let's, Sean, let's be real, okay? Let's be real. Um, you asked, she told you she's making higher pay at her new job than at her old job. So, you could have, you know, you, I, you know, I got a, a couple of questions. You want to work this into the conversation, but basically, uh, I still got to work with people and reach people, but also travel and speak in small groups. How is she going to do that? Okay. So you want to, we want to come back. I've got, you know, my intention is to write, reach people, but to travel and speak in small groups. Well, that means somebody's got to be doing some promotions. Somebody's got to be, I still get to work with people. And it got, you know, no, I got flexibility. So, th so what I would do is I'd come back here and say, you know, this really sounds interesting. It really sounds interesting. Uh, so, you know, I got a couple of questions about, about this. She says she's going to, she's planning on, she's, she's planning, let's come back up here. Um, I'm planning on a book launch in the next 60 days. So why don't we say, I'm really curious about this book launch that you're going to have in 60 days and what you've learned about the business, if you, if you don't mind. Um, what is involved in, you know, what have you learned about, what, what, what is it going to take to launch that book? And more important than that, what's it going to cost you? What's it going to cost you to produce the book and launch the book. What's it going to cost you? Um, how are you planning? And, and then, of course, what's involved in the process? And what is it costing you, okay, to, you know, what's it costing you to do all of this? Now, right now she's got a job. Um, Work it work your way into the conversation. What were you, you know, you, you said earlier that you were, you know, basically making more money. So, 
what 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 is she currently making at her retail store management job and what does she expect to be able to earn you know as a as an author you know, you know um, um because not only is it solitary but it's a whole different industry it's a whole different ball game mm-hmm. whole different ball game you know, and, and you, you and during the conversation, you could emphasize, you know, I applaud you that you want to write a book, share your experiences, because um, uh, elevating and, tra- okay, this is, this is in retail. So she wants to write a book because she wants to work with people, elevate and help set them up for success. That's what she wants to do. And so, you know, you can, you know, there are a lot of things outside of retail where you could accomplish that. A lot of things that you could do that gives you flexibility, no corporate structure. Okay? A lot of things out there. That's probably the way I would probably, you know, you know, you fo- let's focus on the last message she sent you. So there are a lot of things out there that somebody with your experience and skill set could be very successful at. So um, what's it going to take? What's it, what do you have to do? to? You know, you're about to launch a book in 60 days. So what, what's, what are the steps that you have to take? And what is it going to cost you to put all of these things together? Um, what is your income potential? And how does your income potential writing the book um, compare with what you're making in salary? You know, travel and speak in small groups. How about traveling and speaking in front of large groups? But you see where I'm going with this? Oh, yeah, I do. You know, so, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to open up a person's eyes as to what they're doing. Get, get a little bit of that information. Now, remember, she doesn't have an income issue because she's got a job. She's working. Mm-hmm. And she's making more money than she was making before. So, and now she's, entertain- she's committed to a book launch. That's what she's committed for. And so what we want to do, you could tell her, she says, I have a lot of friends. In fact, actually what you could do is you could tell her I have a very good friend that uh, has gone down the road that she's going down. And you really have to be careful about, um, it, it's a, you know, you really have to be careful that your passion for getting your story out there uh, sets you on a path where you spend a lot of money and you don't get the results that you're looking for. So, um, but everything that she says here, you get to work with people, elevate them, set them up for success, have the flexibility uh, with no restrictions, okay? Set the tone, pace, and agenda. And when you need it, get much time off. Well, the nice thing about working in your business is you, you're developing a stream of residual income, so that income keeps coming in when you want to take time off. There's a difference between taking time off, stopping your income, then jumping back into it again to raise income, and that's what you have to do if you're an author. Versus, and there's no, there's no nothing to say that you can't do that. You know, listen, write your book. Having a book gives you credibility with people. But there are other things that you could do that would fill your need to, to work with and help people outside of the retail industry. And then the question is, what do you know about network marketing? What do you know about network marketing? So when you say to her, you know, I'm about to launch a project at the beginning of the year 
help people go to, well, you, you, know, you know what the script is. Mm -hmm. and, and so for people, it's all about timing. It's all about, you know, if, if her focus is on over the next 60 days is launching a book, you want to make sure your relationship is, and, and clearly you've got one. She's, she's opening up and telling you what she's doing. You just want to ask her questions, learn about it, point things out to her by asking questions let, uh, to see that, you know, she's not, heading down a road that's going to get her into trouble and cost her, you know, some income. So mm -hmm. this is, a, but the, the best thing for all of you to learn here is that she'd been talking to this woman for a long time and it was the holiday strategy, wishing somebody that you would talk to in the past, starting up a conversation again around Thanksgiving, around Christmas, around Kwanzaa, around New Year's Eve. You, you can restart conversations with some fabulous people. So at the end of the day, when Carol writes in and says, Max, I signed up four people today. It's not that she woke up in the morning and, you know, wrote to started conversations with four total strangers and then boom, brought them into her business. No, it doesn't work that way. You are planting seeds. You are establishing relationships. You are building a network. Let's just come over here for a second. So look at all the connections you have. And you got 55 people that want to be connected to you. Uh, Carol, when we started, do you remember how many connections you had? Oh, gosh. I think about 200, 300. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now, that right there, right there, says it all. Okay? She started out with a couple of hundred. Today, she's got 2,356, and it looked like she has, uh, what was it, 66 people that want to connect with her. Mm -hmm. So whenever I look at somebody's profile, all right, and I see an old student that pops up, and they have 200 connections, or 80 connections, or 90 connections, and they've had this information for all this time, it just basically tells me life has gotten in the way you have, you know, you haven't built, you, you're not built, you're not doing it. You're not building the business. <clears throat> okay. And that's what it's all about. And, and uh, I remember Carol, you sent me a message. You also got somebody that you met face to face. Right. But, but. Right. And that was my Verizon uh, sales gal. Mm -hmm. We ended up going to lunch and I enrolled her and we're going to go up to the store. But I use the scripts, you know, in the warm market or the cold market becoming warm market. Mm -hmm. Fol that, folks, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. All right, let me... Uh, look here. Where is the script for someone who doesn't have any experience in network marketing? Um... I thought it was in the new texting scripts. Davida, in the new document, let's let's come over here. When you're talking to somebody, by the way, uh, you're gonna be thrilled with this, but we found a way that you'll be able to copy and paste text right off of this, so you don't necessarily have to download it. So, what is the script talking to someone that has no experience in network marketing? What you have to do is you have to, we've got a script here on See, what was it? Okay, so here, a text description of network marketing. 
okay? Text description. This is, this is how you explain it. And as you go through some of these, I've seen many people fail at network marketing. Here's one I've been approached by many people. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at I've been approached by many people. Okay? So you've got the explanation of network marketing. Now, you, could, you, you pick this up right here. Thousands of companies, I'm working with a company. Blow up, okay. Now, it's got a little bit of the project launch. Um, okay, see, so he's familiar with network marketing. Let's see. There are elements in each one of these. Okay, right here. Uh, go to page 44. To be successful, anyone with your experience can be successful in network marketing. Okay, so this exp kind of explains it. We also have actually, actually a better, a better, a better script. Let me get out of this. Come back over here, and let's go to the whale book. So these are different transition lines. Okay. So here. Um, and the pyramid, what do you say to somebody that's got a pyramid? So here's an example. You know, it's in one of these, okay? Um, 